hi guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new don't forget to subscribe and let us get into today's video in this video i'm going to be doing my birthday nails with you guys and i'll also be using builder gel for the very first time and i thought i would share my experience with you guys so as you can tell i've already done my um, right hand using my non-dominant hand it was a struggle but i did pull through so i'm going to start off by pushing back my cuticles and then i will be going in with a mandrel bit and a sanding band to remove the surface shine from the nails After I was done buffing off the surface shine from my nails, I went in with my e-file and a flame bed around the cuticle area to clean up and remove the dead skin there. It is just normal prep and it is something that you should really invest your time in. Your prep in general, honestly, because that plays a major role in determining how long your sets will last. After cleaning up the cuticle area, I'm going to be going in with my nippers and just trimming off the excess dead skin that lifted off while I was pushing back the cuticle. And no, I am not cutting any live tissue at all. It is not supposed to hurt when doing this step, so you need to really be careful so you do not hurt yourself or your client in any case. After trimming my cuticles, I am going to be going in with my hand file and just filing the free edge of my nails down, shaping them properly and just rounding those edges in preparation for my tips. I do like to have a little bit of length on my nails. I do not like it when they are really super short. So I'm going to be leaving just a reasonable amount of length on them before going in with my tips. After shaping my nails, it is now time for me to size out my nail tips and the key thing is just to always make sure that they fit from side wall to side wall. If you find that one tip is small but the next size is big, always go with the big one because you can always file it down to your perfect size and make sure that it fits compared to taking the smaller one. So as I was doing that, I was making sure that they fit from side wall to side wall and I did take some big ones which I filed off making sure that they fit my nail perfectly. Okay, so once I am done sizing out the nail tips, I will be going in with this brush on glue from Planet Nails. But first, I'm going to just um, double check the sizes again and then I'm going to file down the ones that need to be filed down and then I'm going to go in and apply some glue and glue them down.
fuck them ladies straight I talk. Can't for the churches, nobody care about me. Can't for the dust to the loan. AMG hitting some shows to say I make gold. Making all the songs, I'm moving, that's it like a prophet. Ay. Trapping, I'm preaching the gospel. Ay. Inspired these songs, they kept in these songs. 2K22, we're trapping some bonds. Huh? You know what I'm about. You know what I'm about. You know what I'm about. Me and my niggas. We good times. I'm the nigga with a bad tooth, that skin nigga with a bright future. I got my boo, my bitch, she fall. My bitch, she be tripping so harder than stone. She run them all till it's hiding them all. This season, I'm shaking the strap. Niggas go fall if they cap. Catch a party if a nigga found lack. I ain't no thought, little nigga, respect me. You came in the game, so let you talk. You talk. Give me that, that's how my handle look fine I'm in your city and I'm spending the night Be few my niggas, we pull up on sight Knock him out, but I do it like Mike I be good, nigga, I'm feeling no right I'm a hood, nigga, living this life Spending this cash that I made overnight I'm a cold, nigga, trip out the ice They wanna be for me Show no mercy, nigga, show no sympathy Oh my God, man, I move like the president In my class, I got a few skeletons Better not challenge me They wanna be for me Show no mercy, nigga, show no sympathy Oh my God, man, I move like the president In my class, I got a few skeletons Better so once I'm done cleaning on the tips, I'll be going in with my tip cutters and just trimming down the length a little bit. Yes, I am keeping my majority of it, but I am going to trim them down just a little bit. I'm also going to be checking them against my other hand since I'd already like decided on a certain length. So it was easier for me to just use that and just trim them down from that. Once I am done with that, I will be going in with a hand file and then it is now time for me to just shape these nails. I am going to be keeping the square shape, so I'm just not going to be shaping much. Just filing the sides, perfecting that shape and then I'll be scoring off the free edge and that is pretty much it. Challenge me. Pull up a blame and I'm taking a flight tonight. And I'm so fly like a kite. Pull up a blame and I'm taking a flight tonight. And I'm so fly like a kite. Pull up a blame and I'm taking a flight tonight. And I'm so fly like a kite. Pull up a blame and I'm taking a flight tonight. And I'm so fly like a kite.
So after shaping the nails, I'll be going in with my mandra pit and ascending band and just um, blending the tip to remove that hard line that shows where the tip connects to the natural nail and I didn't want that to show. So I am going to be using that and just filing that part down so it kind of just looks smooth and doesn't have that line, that demarcation line between the tip and the natural nail. I'm also going to be using the same sanding band to just file over the surface of the tips to remove the shine from them. Once I'm done doing that, I'm going to go in with a wipe and some acetone and cleansing the nails, just removing the excess dust. And the acetone also serves as a dehydrator, which works really well. And then I'm going to go in with a coat of primer on all the nails, just the natural parts though. So since this is my first time using Builder Gel, I did go online and try to do research on the product. But there's not much that I found basically the same thing on all the videos that I've watched. So what I did gather was that first you have to like apply a thin coat of the product on the nail, on the entire nail. And then you can go in with a large blob of product and then just place it near the cuticle area and try to push it towards the cuticle without touching the skin. So as close to the cuticle as you can get. And then you're just going to float the product from one side to the other side. Just trying to build the structure of the nail. And leaving as much product as you can at the apex area to build that, that apex of the nail. And give the nail structure so it doesn't just pop off or break at any moment. It is important to note that with Builder Gel, you are going to be using large amounts of product to build the structure of the nail. To avoid heat spikes, you are going to have to use the low heat setting on your lamp, which means that your lamp is going to now run for like 90 seconds. And that's okay because it is way better than just having to get those heat spikes. So after applying the large blob of product and floating it towards the tip, you are going to then flip your hand so that the gravity tries to pull majority of the product towards the apex part of the nail. And then my honest opinion, I felt using Builder Gel was quite easy and fun. It didn't take, okay, it took me a while mainly because I was working I was working with it for the first time, but it was honestly way quicker than I expected and way easier to use once I got the hang of it. So I really do think that I might be using Builder Gel a whole lot more than I ever thought.
So once I am done with the application, I'm going to go in with my hand file and file the sides, just reshaping the nails because when you're applying product, it does distort your shape a little bit. So it is very important to just go back in and make sure that you have that perfect shape that you wanted. After that, I'm going to go in over the surface of the nails, just filing vertically up and down, smoothing it out, removing any indents and whatsoever, and making sure that the nail is perfect and smooth. And I'm going to be doing that on all the nails, and then I'm going to score off um, the free edge, making sure it is nice and straight. After filing, I'm going to go in with my wipe and some acetone and remove the dust and cleanse the nails. And then it is now time for us to go into this nail art part of the video. And I'm really excited to show you guys how I, I achieved this look. I'm really excited about it. So yeah. So to start off, I'll need some nude gel polish. I'll also need... Um, top coat some purple gel polish purple lavender whatever you decide to call it and some white i'm also going to need a sponge a detailer brush and this um, palette that's what i call it in a way as well as um some of this iridescent um glitter because we will be doing some sugaring so to start off, I started off by swatching this nude. I felt it was a bit too dull or too dark for me. So I went in and just removed it after that. And then I'm going to be going in and dropping some of it and then mixing it with some white to just kind of like lighten it up. I liked the undertones of it. So I didn't want to remove that. So that is why I just added the white. It was just to like brighten it up a little bit. So once I am content with the shade of nude that I have, I will then be going in with this base coat. 
I am going in with base coat. I normally do this before applying color with all my sets. Mainly because I use the base coat to infill those scratches whatsoever from the filing. Because the buffing doesn't normally like remove all of them. So I normally use the base coat to just infill them and make the nail level and smooth. After curing the base coat, I will be going in with the nude gel polish on all the nails because I'm going to be using it as a base color. After carrying um, the jaw polish, I did do 60 seconds under the lamp. I will be going in with the nail art. For that, I'm going to need um, the purple jaw polish. And this is a freestyle set and I was going with what my heart desired basically but I did have some sort of idea of what I wanted. So I'm going to start off by um, doing an ombre on the middle finger and the ring finger. I will be using the sponge method. So start off by getting some of the color onto the sponge, a generous amount of it onto the sponge so once i'm done applying the gel polish onto the sponge i'm going to get some foil from my kitchen and i'm going to take the sponge and dab it onto the foil to remove the excess gel polish it also helps create a much more smoother blend when you're, when you're doing the ombre. After that, I'm going to go in and dab the sponge onto the nail. Once I am satisfied with how it looks, I'm going to cure it and then I'm going to repeat the process again just to make it a bit more solid at the free edge. Thank you. 
ahead and did the same thing for my ring finger off camera and then now I'm going to go in and draw on a French tip onto my index finger with the idea that I had in mind for this set um, the pinky and the thumb are going to be glitter French tips and then the index finger is just going to be a regular French tip so to start off I'm just going to go in with my detailer brush and draw on the French tip onto the index finger first After drawing on the outline of the French tip, I'm just going to go in with a bigger brush and get some of that purple and then infill the area there. It is much quicker and saves me a lot of time than trying to infill with the detailer brush. After curing um, the French tip, I will be going in with some top coat. Now on all the nails because I will be sprinkling on some glitter afterwards. I will be popping the nails under the light for 90 seconds and then I'm going to go in and draw on the French tip on the pinky.
Unfortunately, I did forget to like record the part where I actually sprinkled the glitter onto the pinky or drawing the the swirls on the index finger. But you do get a glimpse of me um, sprinkling the glitter onto those swirls as well. After sprinkling on the glitter, I am going to go in with the brush and try to like clean up in between the lines before curing. It really helps to keep your like your lines and your glitter very neat and on the part where you need it to be. After I am done doing that, I'm going to pop that in the light and then go ahead and start doing the outline of the French tip on the thumb. And then I'm going to infill it with a much bigger brush before going ahead and uh, sprinkling the glitter on. Taking the glitter, I'm going to sprinkle some of it onto the thumb. Um, being sure to get it on all corners of the thumb, all the sides. And it is important to note that I am sprinkling this on before curing so the gel is still wet. And then I'm going to cure after.
So once I was done with the thumb, I felt like the design was still missing something, something to tie everything together. So I decided to go in and draw some flowers on on the middle finger. I started off by using this lighter shade of purple which I mixed together by mixing um, the original shade of purple that I used and some white. And I didn't like how it looked, it just felt a bit too dull so I went in with white instead. And just drew the flowers on and these flowers are just pretty simple to draw on you just draw lines and just bring them all towards a certain point which will be your center so i did three of those um one big one at the center of the nail and then two um half or incomplete flowers at the at the free edge and at the cuticle area I'm going to cure the flowers under the light for 60 seconds and then I'm going to go in with some top coat over the entire nail. I will be using the top coat to glue on my rhinestones that I'll be using as the centers of the flowers. So applying a generous amount of top coat over the nail and then I'm going to go in and get my stones and then I'm going to use a dotting tool to pick them out and place them onto the nail. After curing the top coat, I'm going to go in with uh, cuticle oil for my cuticles and I'm going to gently rub that in and that is pretty much it for this video. I do hope that you liked it and that you learned a ton and that it was very informative for you guys. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and let me know what you think of this set. I really do think that it turned out nice and I'm happy about it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!